have his bracket looking like. So I was looking at Lucio who I play next. Eli DQ couldn't even show up, so I have to fight whoever Cub is. I don't know who that is. But uh, bracket, we'll get to that later. And we got immediate Wolf versus uh, Jay Grunt. So both of these two, they. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just Jay Grunt's stat <laughs> is get a land. And anyone who knows Jay Grunt, he's a. Uh, a residential GSP, GSP farmer who goes on Elite Smash and makes these salty tweets. He is that guy. Jack Lodo was he not literally will be like to whoever like butt captain 69 was. <laughs> uh, you're terrible and you don't deserve the 37 GSP that you stole. <laughs> True tweet. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I embellished the name a little bit. But, it definitely uh, did. But stuff like that it definitely does happen. What we're seeing here, yeah, I feel like Jay Grunt's maybe hoping for a bit of a like a six-frame delay because he probably he needs something in order to actually get in on tackle. Yeah. This hasn't even been like a oh you know sick nasty 100% combo. He's oh. just consistently playing the neutral fantastically. Jackal is just absolutely in control. He is absolutely demon right now. Not even getting a percent. Look at that left trap. He's ready. Wolf F tilt does the job. You already know nothing great. Finally getting something on the board just to throw the dog off stage. I like the idea of that hydro pump. Like the reward for actually landing that would have been massive. But as it stands, Jackal, like that was the first time Jacob actually hit him. Only did about 20%. He needs to make a lot of uh, ground back. But also, I respect and I like the way that he is uh, jumping right now. Making sure that even though he jumps, he's not in range of things like neutral air, things like back air. I'm trying to just be more patient. At this point, if he gets just a ton of chip damage with like tiny little shurikens, I, mean, I think Jacob will take that. You see, he might, but he hasn't even been able to do tick damage with Shuriken. Every time he Jackal lands and Jacob, and he's in a spot where he could like get punished, the shield's out. He is shielding. He is, the defensive option is there. I think Jackal not overextending in a little bit. Almost killed him with the pit with the stanky leg. And Jacob messing up with the power boost. Only 26% exact on Jackal. Think about that. 26% done over the course of. How long has it been? Three is minutes. It been? Almost three minutes. So no it's been way. two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah. It, uh, no, it's eight minutes or seven minutes? Aren't we seven minutes, right? Seven minutes? That okay. was two and a half minutes of only 26% getting actually tacked on. And now it's this is looking really bad for Jager on 87%. He needs to find some way. Now this is a position where it's like he needs to find those big combo starters. But Jackal just playing around them brilliantly. He is not getting hit by forward air. Not getting hit by down tilt. Just as I say that, he actually gets hit by the <laughs> down tilt. Top dead is cursed. Uh, and that was the craziest thing, too, because he, know, he knows, he definitely knows Greninja like combo starters and like yeah, how the character would play in, a, in an advantage state. You know, a character with a high jump and his faster buttons than Greninja? Ooh. Jagger does not want to contest. Not only that, but Wolf has such a low end lag on so many of his moves. Like, there was it's one point in before criminal. he dash attack, the dash attack missed. He tried to down tilt. The down tilt was caught, like, it didn't hit, and then he got caught by up smash. Good job from Great Jagrunt right there, right, though, actually, and then to take the stock. But still, this is two stocks to one. And Jackal being a lot more comfortable throwing out lasers here. Every time a laser connects, it's just like, what, 10% almost? Yeah. I think it's only about 8, but 7 8%, or 8. but it's, like, it's a lot. That's the point. It, it is a lot for a move that he can throw out, just like, pew. He's a sheriff, man. Rhino Greninja is trying to take over his town. Not very effective, though. Yeah, and I, I, once again, uh, did, did you see these neutral airs? He's throwing out these neutral airs in order to, like, you know, shut down Jay Grunt's movement. But uh, even when he's missing, he's not getting punished. What the hell? I'm sorry, just watching all the cheese crap. That, that interaction was kind of nuts. Wolf hitboxes, ladies and gentlemen. Jager finally able to get something started. What a beautiful side beat. He's up on feet off stage versus Wolf. I'm actually really curious to see like, what is happening with. I want to know if like, will Jager find a chink in this impenetrable armor? Ooh, now Smash covering the ball in. Yeah, he was hungry for that up smash, even though there was like no way at that point it was actually going to connect. I mean, it does not hurt to try, man. I mean, it does. Got hit for it. <laughs> it literally hurt him to try. He got hit by the by Wolf Bear as it went into standing. That's on him. Anyways. Yeah, and okay, we hadn't really seen Wolf Bear come out, but now we're starting to see it in the neutral. And just look at this. Like, 
Jaquelin's trying to do some little movement, trying to get anything in, and he just gets hit in the face with seven different lasers. He's now at 162%. I'm pretty sure a uh, like a sweet spot neutral layer will kill at this point. Jaquelin will die to just so much. What right a now. parry! What a parry! I'm sorry, it just it was just a little thing, but I just seeing that, I was just like, he's like, I know the range. You're gonna down tilt. You're gonna spot five down tilt. No, get out of here. I think I think uh, Jacko might be looking for the grab right now. Actually, look at all these empty lands. <laughs> yeah, he just <laughs> tried to go for it. Jay Grunt, though, really good awareness rolled out Finally of it. Finally landing a forward here. Oh, it didn't Ed actually. Oh. Jay Grunt is just like, can I have a crumb? A crumb of neutral and wins, please. Every, almost majority of the neutral exchanges, it's been like 7-3 Jackal, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, what a way to end it. He just saw him go for that Yo, short up board He did oh, that he like he owed him money. Jackal, does he owe you money? He broke his thumbs. Does Jago owe you money, Jackal? I, I don't Took know. Took his kneecaps right there. Absolutely. Just shink. Stop jumping in my face, boy. Man, that was wild. I'm curious right now, actually. Among the people in attendance, who was in contention to really contest Jackal? Because we don't normally see him here at Syrup. Oracle. Syrup is here? Syrup and Ling Ling. Yo, the, uh, the middle school dropout. And Jen. Yes, and sir. Did he actually do that? Oh, let me see. I didn't know whether that was a meme or not. It was a meme. Okay. So I think uh, Jen, Ling Ling, Syrup, uh, probably Gatsby. We know how buck wild he is. Maybe they might throw Jackal off his game, or he might be used to the nonsense. I mean, I'll be honest, normally when I see Jay Grunt and Gatsby fight, it feels pretty, you know, pretty even. And if uh, we were to use the transitive property here, I'm pretty sure it would be, I don't know, Jackal was looking just like he's playing really well tonight. Oh my god, I thought it would be a back air. I've seen not stuff like that, forward air, forward air, upper, back air. And it just obliterates stocks. Jay Grunt finally managed to get a dash attack in here. And finally managing to punish, punish these landing aerials as well. Let's see if you can actually complete this. Uh, yeah, the ledge trapping is actually working out for him this oh. time. That was so smart. He delayed the up uh, just ever so slightly, and they actually got pushed up by the uh, Hydro Pump. And you can see here, Jacob actually, like, forcing Jackal to approach now this time. Uh, that's what having a lead will do here. I uh, didn't believe it. Jackal able to react to that. They're going a bit too slow on these up smashes. Not going to lie, I don't, I, I'm kind of surprised we went back here for game two. Uh, well, this is kind of like, I want to say the most neutral stage, but I think it's a stage that ev almost every player in the game is comfortable with. So it's like, yeah, I'm making my adaptations. If we just played here, let's go back. Yeah, but at the same time, Wolf really likes the stage because when he's on those platforms, he can just come down with back air. And already we've seen how those platforms can interfere with Greninja's, you know, his down tilt up smash stuff. Yeah, man. It's forcing him to make a 50 50 read. Not even a 50 50. It's like three options you got to work out for. Here we go again, back in the news. Jake and actually winning it, landing another down throw. Going super deep for this. That was weird. Maybe his jump got taken and we didn't notice. Maybe? Did he try to jump and when he got caught with the down throw? But he was still having a double jump. I'm going to try to figure out which. <laughs> that was funny. He was, he, was, <laughs> he was just running into his face. He was asking for that uppercut. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, it's, you can see that Jay Grunt once again trying to punish the uh, the landing aerials, but they have so much range and they last so long that he has to be very careful with having spaces himself. Yeah, it's actually very hard to, to land and trap this character. Like, Greninja has the character, though. He does have the speed, but I probably maybe attempt to whiff on his wolf. Why did he not go for that? There he, uh, he could attempt to whiff on his wolf, but it's very, really hard. Question. Does Greninja's up tilt, would that beat out a landing neutral air from uh, Jackal? I think it might. It has the range, but like on paper, I think it should. But landing there has yeah. so much I'm, priority to I'm it. Pretty sure the, uh, but it, it, I'm pretty sure that the uh, the tongue is a disjoint, is it not? It is. I thought the tongue is a disjoint. This is actually something I don't know. I might have to ask our GSP expert after the uh, after the game. I, I mean, like this one. Yeah, Jacob staying very mobile right now, but still being just within range. He's trying to put up pressure, but Jackal is doing a great job 
not getting hit by any of these space moves. Oh, he's not, man. This, guy, this wolf is, uh, I wouldn't say, say like, the position that, wolf, that he's choosing to stay in and his own mobility itself. Like, Wolf may not be, like, he might have the same stats, speed stats as Greninja to keep up with him, but frame data, move distance, and, uh, ending lag, he can definitely make, uh, get up to catch up to him in, his, in a, any way. Yeah, don't forget about power. That's Ooh. so much meaty muscle behind every hit that uh, Jackal will dish out. At this point, like, so many options are going to be able to kill. Just a matter of, uh, the fact that Jake Run has been doing a great job of avoiding all of them. Look at this mobility, look at the careful play here, but the very latest attack it feels like so many of these times it's like the la very last like, frames of a hitbox I would actually end up flipping Jake up, but that's not enough to kill him. And that does it. Dunks on up smash? What? I really like this because Jake Run, he's being surviving without that rage, it's not enough to kill. But Jake Run, he's being very, he's using the air to be evasive, but then he is like, his hits are happening when he's on the ground. He's getting a ton of these down tilts, that sort of thing. Like, oh, okay, as I say that, he managed to find a back air, but he ends up getting caught. No, not enough down tilt out of disadvantage. It does not, oh my god. Oh, that started because he put one button. Good yeah, good timing on that ledge attack. Oh no! An unfortunate missed tech. That also, that DI looked a little bit like he was just trying to go. It's like, ah, let me just get into the bracket already.